Good morning everyone, today we're receiving our first snowfall of the winter, we gotta head out plowing, we got right around 6 inches here, the snow's continuing to come on down, we'll probably get another inch or two, but I'm gonna let the truck get warmed up here, and I'm gonna run back inside and grab a winter coat. I'm trying to lock the house door and I do have winter gloves here. That was a bit tricky, but today, guys, this is our first day plowing here, which I am pretty excited for. Now, yesterday, guys, uh, late yesterday, kind of early evening, I did take the Cummins out on a salt run here just to make sure all our commercial properties were ready to go. That way, all their customers would be safe and would help uh, kind of lower the amount of snow here. But let's get the plow raised. And oh boy, guys, it is chilly here. It's only around 22 degrees. I can't believe it. Earlier this week, guys, it was mid-50s, and now we are already getting snow here. Definitely a pretty exciting, though, to put the plow to work. And when I do four-wheel drive, uh, just uh, putting on here, I'm also going to activate the differentials as well. So we should have no problem here. But like always, guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button, as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms here. But what we're going to do, we're going to plow probably three, four driveways, and then it we are actually going to be going on over and we're going to be doing a pretty big commercial property here. I think that's probably going to take most of the day. It's a pretty big tractor supply uh, that we uh, uh, have to do uh, since they open up here within the next hour and a half here. But wow, we got the first one done. I'm going to do a few of our neighbors here and uh, we'll keep on going. And just like that, a few passes, and we're good to go here. Now, we are trying to do the best job clearing all the snow. And some of these driveways uh, that have garages, it is a bit trickier here. But guys, more than likely, this might be one of our last snow plowing videos here in FS19. Now, with FS22, there is the Seasons mod, which means snow is already built in here. So we should be able to get to plowing right away, which I am pretty excited for here. Snow plowing is a huge part of what I really like to uh, record here here for you guys here especially with farm sim you just be so realistic here but i hope everyone has been just having a pretty good day here so far but one thing guys i think with the ground temperatures and everything i think we are just uh, really uh, sliding around here with the truck i've been noticing it especially on the front end here so there must be a lot of ice underneath and i think we got rain a few days ago so that probably is helping out with that here but we'll do one or two more driveways here and then i think the rest of the crew is going to help us on out and do the rest Best. Now it also looks like guys the county roads have not yet come on out to get these roads cleared. Hopefully they do. That's definitely going to make it a lot easier here. Especially for all those people that have sedans and do not have four wheel drive here. But usually in farm towns uh, like Lone Oak uh, most people have either SUVs or farm trucks. And they should have no problem getting on through. But sometimes guys it is a bit tricky here. Look at that. We are already getting a lot of snow all over the tires here. But why don't we head on over. And there are going to be a few more properties. Uh, a few more driveways we'll try to get plowed out on the way it looks like the county came in, plowed the main roads here. That's good to see. Usually the subdivisions like where we were usually get plowed last uh, uh, since they're just trying to get all the main roads cleared on out here. But there looks to be quite a bit of wind here. Lots of snow drifts today, uh, which in some areas uh, can make two, three feet of snow, especially kind of up close to different buildings and things like that here. But let me know, guys, what would be uh, kind of your plow truck you guys would recommend here? There's so many different ones. And I will say, guys, this setup is... Is pretty cool here although I would really like to be using the GMC Duramax uh, I needed to go out last night salting uh, uh, since a few of the employees were gonna work today and uh, I thought that, uh, hey why don't we drive this truck here but I think why don't we go on now and get uh, started on tractor supply there that is gonna take so much time uh, since it is a pretty big lot here as well now let's see I'm actually gonna park over here at this nursery I think this should be a pretty safe uh, place to park here really uh, don't want to be using the uh, uh, plow truck here it's not as maneuverable and you guys can see just look at this oh wow there's so much snow 
All right, let's hop on in the new Bobcat here. This is a brand new T76, our first winter snow plowing. And oh, guys, look at that. These brand new machines, they get uh, fired right on up, even in these cold weathers. And now it's time to uh, go plow in here. Now, I believe this is a 10-foot box uh, a box plow on it. So this is going to come in pretty handy here. We are going to be pushing a lot of snow with this. Uh, just already look at this. We're going to be making some pretty big mountains, which is going to be pretty exciting here as well. But I will say, guys, skid steers are definitely the way to go for snow plowing they are just so maneuverable here they push a lot of snow and uh, I, like I mentioned they're just so versatile you could use them for moving dirt hauling uh, attachments things like that and then all winter uh, they do push snow make a lot of money for the business here but wow look at this guys really huge piles losing a little bit of traction here towards the end we want to go just a little bit further there that way when it's uh, ice is up we'll have a little bit of room to uh, get uh, the a snow place here but I did bring a few extra tripods and cameras so we'll get that set up here in a bit and get some pretty cool uh, shots Having a big box pile like this, guys, is making pretty quick work here of a pretty big parking lot. And I will also have to say, guys, luckily the business is still closed here. I think they open up uh, within the next hour here, but uh, there's no cars in the parking lot here. Now, that is one thing with snow plowing. Usually when you're plowing parking lots, uh, there's cars or uh, cars in the driveways. Definitely adds to the challenge, but today it looks like everyone is either off to work or uh, they just uh, have their uh, vehicles in the garage. But I will say, this skid, guys, is so cool here. Now, we actually do have a S76 uh, on order as well. I can't wait to get that. That should be pretty sweet here as well. Now, I do want, maybe want to switch out that beacon light for a small LED light bar. I think that would be a pretty neat addition here. But you guys can see, wow, just look at that. So much snow we're moving. Now, one thing, we do not want to plow in the entrance of this parking lot. I'm not exactly sure where it is. We probably, oh, the stop sign's over there. So, we have another passer to before. We have to really worry about that. Well, guys, we got the front lot all cleared on out here. Came out pretty good. Now, I am going to put down some salt uh, before we end today's video here. But let's get going on the back area here. This is going to be only pass or two all the way around uh, since we don't have to go too wide here. But I will say, guys, uh, this is a lot of fun here. Definitely am a little bit rusty at how to kind of place the snow, things like that, uh, since we're just now getting back into the routine of snow plowing. But hopefully, we could get a lot of snow. And uh, like I've mentioned, guys, FS20 to already a season's built in so maybe we could do a lot more snow plowing over there hopefully we could uh, get similar mods like we have here on it uh, FS19 here, but you guys can see that's just about it for this side a little bit around back and then it, We're gonna be hopping in that work truck and I can't wait to just uh, put down some salt here Now I do actually have to go to the supplier uh, later on today Maybe after this one because we are gonna be out of salt here definitely uh, The salt is a lot of money a pretty big money maker for us because most uh, Businesses they want salt to make sure uh, there's no ice on the property uh, to prevent any uh uh, vehicles from sliding or anyone from uh, slipping on the uh, pavement. Hopping out of the Bobcat after about an hour worth of snow plowing here. Really good progress. Wow, the entire lot is done here. And oh boy, I'm freezing. You go from a nice warm cab uh, to cold and windy outside here. But let's hop in that Cummins and let's get to spreading some salt. I'm just driving around the parking lot spreading some salt here. Now this could uh, spread right around 20 to 25 feet wide, which is coming in pretty handy here. But we're just trying to make sure it's all good to go. And I'm actually going to hop out now, put a little bit of here along the sidewalk and uh, get out my snow shovel to do a little bit more here. But guys, I'm probably going to put down the camera here and get back to snow plowing uh, since we do have a lot more driveways and lots that need to get cleared. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.